Toastmasters. My name is Zachary. And first, I would like to ask you a question. Why does human exist? And why we have four limbs and one with two legs? Well, in 1830s, Charles Darwin think of these questions, and here comes the great book, The, Or the Origin of Species. And 60 years later, and two people think of another question. They ask themselves why people cannot fly. And the first airplane was born. And these two people are the famous inventor of airplanes, Wright Brothers. Well, what does these two cases have in, have in common? Um, that is, all constructions begins with questions. I'm sorry, I'm literally <laughs> nervous today. And uh, every day we face a lot of questions, all kinds of questions. Some are big. What is the truth of the universe? Some are small. What am I going to eat tonight? <laughs> and some are social. What is the government doing at this juncture? Some are personal. Which boy am I going to choose as my boyfriend? Ooh. <laughs> It is actually based on Richard. <laughs> <laughs> and some are important, like life decisions. Some are trivial, which you don't even bother yourself to think. And we have faced so many questions today, every day. But here comes another question. Why do we have to bother ourselves with so many questions? The answer is easy. Well, the Zen Buddhism gave us a very simple answer. Nothing questioned, nothing realized. Sorry. <laughs> And uh, If after the question comes out, we start to think. What am I going to do this weekend? Think for yourself. <laughs> What is the movie Life of Pi trying to tell us? Think for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> What can I do to make this world better? Think for yourself. What is the truth of the whole universe? Think for yourself. You, to find yourself, think for yourself. And great philosophers always ask themselves a bunch of questions, even those questions without answers. Uh, if we don't think we're nothing but just machines, so are you a robot or you think for yourself? And the Chinese educator Tao Xingzhi gave us a very answer. He said, constructions begins with questions. And once there is doubt, there is thinking. Once there is thinking, there is a possibility to work thinking critically and independently. That is, our purpose of thinking so much questions to every day is to get that access to that possibility of thinking critically and independently. But how? Thinking critically It's actually quite easy. It's to think differently. Uh, maybe some of you will ask, how? What does it mean by think differently? Well, I will give you a very simple example. If the apple fell down from a tree and right onto your head, what will you think? You may think, oh, how lucky I am! I got my lunch. But <laughs> <laughs> you may think, damn, it hurts. Why am I so unfortunate today? Today is really not my day. But actually, Sir Isaac Newton proved himself to think differently than we do. Think, why does the apple fell down onto the ground instead of floating up to the sky? Well, and the rest is history. Sir Isaac Newton successfully proved himself as a great example of thinking differently. And it doesn't actually matter whether the question you ask to yourself is big or small, social or personal, important or not so important. It may sound stupid that a teacher asks himself, why am I bothering to fix those damn fountain pens for my stupid students? But actually then, he create a ballpoint pen. Do you have ballpoint pen? Yeah, we're still using his inventions nowadays. Thank <laughs> you. 
and uh, so so think differently. All others spend their time Facebooking. You do something different, and you know what? You already did it. While others spend their time having fun, watching television, playing computer games, singing and dancing on Sunday night, what are you doing? You're here in Toastmasters, so we are all free, right? <laughs> so doubt and think critically and independently. And then you have debate, negotiation, and communication, which all contributes to critical thinking. But you may not be as successful as Newton and Wright brothers, but well, the science, the literature, society, the world of the future is worthy to be discovered. So think differently and critically and then you'll find what you want to do. Thank you.